All right, what is good? Just a quick video on installing this Llama CPP on Windows. Uh, the, there's two methods that I have that will work. One is using CMake, so installing CMake and going from there. The next option is to get a WSL2, uh, the Windows subsystem for Linux, and go from there. In this video, we'll just go over getting it working in your terminal. I'm using the Anaconda PowerShell prompt. You can use the Anaconda prompt. You can just use CMD. It does not matter. I recommend Anaconda so you can have a single environment and that's a single point of deletion and it'll make the whole process in and out a lot better. So let's get started. And we are gonna use Visual Studio. Visual Studio is actually a pretty powerful tool and it is pretty useful. So it is a pain to install, but let's just bite the bullet and get it over with. And, but I will also show you how much simpler it will be if you just install the Windows subsystem for Linux too. But let's get going with Visual Studio and we'll get the process done. All right, so here we are on the Visual Studio website. Uh, we got three different options here. Visual Studio Code, you probably already have that. It's a pretty common IDE, but that is not Visual Studio. Visual Studio is kind of the proprietary paid version and it's powerful. Powerful. I have never used the pro version, but even the tools that you can download with it are pretty nice. So we're going to stick with the community and looks like we're already installed. Uh, there's a bunch of information here. You know, Microsoft is becoming a very enjoyable company to work with, I must say. Uh, let's go ahead and open this up. But this is a large program and it, it is kind of a pain to, to get going with. But that's just because it's powerful and there's a slight learning curve. So we want a couple things. We want the desktop development with C++. We want the Python development and we want the Node.js development. Am I not a couldn't hurt to get that either not necessary though so that should be it and it's eight gigabytes and we should be good it's going to install the program files yeah so we're going to just go ahead and install and the build tools we definitely want to update that as well so we'll just wait for it to install all right so i heard that familiar brrrr sound and you know it's done installing I recommend rebooting soon to clean up any remaining files that's standard process. There's an update, so let's just go ahead and update all, and it'll go ahead and do that. And then I will reboot the system and come back. Okay, so the methods that have not worked are the PowerShell prompt, the make is not found, it can't find the... I'm not sure what it can't find. It looks... but that's not working. Git bash is not working. I haven't tried WSL, that should work, that's a last resort. Next, we will try CMake, which is what's recommended, but I felt that I shouldn't have to do that, but it looks like we might have to. So now, we're gonna go ahead and try CMake, install that, and see if we can get it running with this. It's another tool that you have to install. And before I even get started with that, I did try Chocolatey, I did try getting Make, I did try installing GCC, I have installed Visual Studio. The Make function did not work with the Make file. There's some path that you need to add that I couldn't find on the system. I really do not want to spend a lot of time on this. And I just want to get back to researching that and playing around with Llama. I did try those, but this is working. Uh, CMake will work. So we go to the CMake website. We go ahead and get the installer. You can get the zip as well and run the exe. It's up to you. And it's still going. Okay, here's the setup wizard. Next, we got to accept these terms. Uh, we uh, we will go ahead and add it to the path. Yeah, you can remove it. For Anaconda, I don't because I like the separate prompts, but I think this will just be fine. Uh, there we go. Okay, and we can go back here. Let's see if it did indeed add to, well, we'd have to close these up. And okay, so let's go ahead and try with the Anaconda PowerShell prompt. Let's go ahead and CD or, uh, all right, cool. So looks like that's going. We can CD into llama.cpp and let's go ahead and copy this. Huh, and it is using Visual Studio, so we didn't need the GCC from Chocolatey. Okay, looks pretty good. Here we're going to move folders. Right, I don't have the models actually in the folder, so I don't have the models. Okay, so it is installed, and now all we need to do is actually get Llama C++ running. I need to make a models folder. I need to put some models in there, and then we shall quantize the models. Okay, unfortunately, I don't have space. Straight up, I don't have space, but it does work. 
um, we can see that in here. Um, we should be able to follow the instructions exactly the same as for the Python, as for the Linux install from here on out. Because all we're doing is adding these files to a folder that we create called models. And I don't think I did that. So you're going to want to mkdir models. Um, cool. And then you're just going to want to ls to make sure you have it in that folder using one of the links, either the 4chan link or the Technium link. And I think the Technium magnet weights are down now. So those don't exist. And the files are just too large for me to upload to Google. So I don't recommend any illegal way of doing this, but get the weights the official ones, the original ones, maybe Facebook is giving them out, put them in this folder. And the way the weights are downloaded it is you'll have, these will all be in after you uh, get the torrent file and extract it and whatnot, you're going to have a folder that's just going to have all of this, the 65B folder, the 30B folder, the 13B folder, and the 7B folder. There'll be two files, a tokenizer checklist file and a tokenizer.model file. And you'll just put those in the models folder that's in the video then you're going to need python and you should have gotten python with visual studio doing the python development and if you don't have it you can install python through anaconda very easily then all of these are just files inside the github so you can run the quantize.sh you specify the model that's just a file here okay so just open up git bash and you should just be able to run the program from here like this and you'll see i don't have the models in there but it should work uh git bash uh i can quickly show you how to install it i think i've already put something together for that all right so let's get git bash uh, it's pretty easy uh, we'll just install it and we'll just use the standalone installer 64 bit and we'll open it up we'll allow it to make changes we will install and we will go ahead and launch it there we go